Hey, just making a short video about my 2007 R6. Uh, just swapped out my chain and sprockets to JT chain and sprockets, and I'm very happy uh, with the, the decision I made. Obviously, the bike pulls a lot harder now, and it's less hesitant. Uh, goes into gear a lot smoother. Um, I found out something, though, as I was swapping out my chain and sprockets. So let me show you all what I ended up finding out. Um... If you see my front sprocket there, all of this here broke off. And this is the damper, the little dampener, which is absolutely insane. The front side's fine, but the back side completely broke off, which obviously helps to explain why the chain kept tightening as I rolled the bike back and forward. Obviously, the chain uh, had some O-rings that were broke off of it. But, um, yeah, these are the stock chain and sprockets from 2007. So, the, you know, it essentially was on the bike for almost 14 years, which blows my mind. Um, so, clearly, there's really, you know, a clear reason why, you know, it feels so much different now with brand new chain and sprockets. Even my front sprocket is way lighter than this uh, front sprocket, the OEM one. So, I'm very happy about it. Um, I want to make a shout out to my wife and my dad. Because without them, the installation of the new JT chain and sprockets wouldn't have went as smooth as they did. So I'm very happy to have my wife and my father help me out with this. Um, just made the job go by so much easier and smoother. Um, but definitely keep an eye out, man. I plan on uh, doing a lot more racing videos coming up here soon. Um, racing is my life, so that's why I do it. And I bought the bike to go fast, so... Definitely keep an eye out, y'all, for uh, more racing coming up here soon. Fork seals will be replaced here shortly. I need to swap those out there for some new um, little paper towels and zip tie them up. Um, if you haven't seen my video on that, check that out. I made a video about fork seals leaking. I only did that temporarily, obviously. It's not a fix, but um, it's just to make it to where it doesn't drip down on the ground or drip down toward my, uh, my wheel. All right, y'all. Definitely stay tuned for more. I'm uh, documenting every single thing I do with this bike. Um, just because this is one of my favorite motorcycles. Um, this is definitely my favorite generation 600 ever made. Because I feel like it's the most beautiful. And uh, luckily I got the bike for $800. So I'm not really complaining. The original owner, he crashed it into a mailbox. And uh, me, my wife, and my dad, we took it and rebuilt it. So essentially everything is brand new. I'm just doing everything uh, slowly, and eventually every single inch of this bike will be brand new. I'm doing an 08 and up tail conversion on the bike, so that'll be finished here shortly. And I made a video of my uh, headlights as well. I got those uh, off of eBay. So if you haven't seen that video, check that out. Definitely subscribe if you're into this Generation 600, because I'm like I said, I'm documenting every inch of what I do, and I plan on racing the living life out of this bike. All right, y'all. Peace.